creating inline components. In this example, we will use the generic editor to first create a parallel device to model an inductor skin resistance. Then we'll add a device in series to a voltage source to add a series impedance. So we'll have two different ways of actually modifying the simulation model. We'll begin by creating a new schematic. File, New, Schematic. And now we're going to go to the Libraries panel. If that's not open, go to System, and then choose Libraries. And now we're going to be looking at the Miscellaneous Devices Integrated Library. And we're going to grab the generic inductor, place it on our schematic. And then we're going to double click on it. Be sure to double click on the body. If you click, for example, on the designator, you will only have the parameters for the designator. If you double click on the actual body, then you'll have the full properties for the component. Now we're going to modify the designator, make that L1, change the value of our inductor to 100 millihenries, and then click OK. Now we're going to save this file. Uh, I suggest just simply saving it on the desktop and giving it a name of inline component. Once we've saved it, we're going to double click on the body again, but this time in the model section, we're going to select the third row, the simulation model, and then click on the edit button. Once we're there, we need to make sure that we have the model kind of general selected and the model subkind of generic editor. If you don't have generic editor selected, you will not be able to edit the text field below, which is the next step. We're going to type in the following. R skin underbar, which is the prefix, at designator, which is the designator variable, and then the pin designations, percent one, percent two, as we've seen before, and then the value of our component, which is 100K. Now, if we click to the Netlist Preview tab at the bottom, you'll notice that we have now added in that second line for the model. So this is now in parallel. The um, resistor is now in parallel with that inductor. Click OK to dismiss both of the dialogues. Now what we just saw was a hard coding value of 100K. Let's modify a voltage source component and add a series resistance where the value can be controlled in the component's properties. To begin, we're going to delete the inductor we just created. And now we're going to go to our libraries panel and select simulation sources and then add a VSRC component to our schematic and then double click to open up its properties. For the value, let's change that immediately to 5V. And then down in the model section, click on edit, which will bring up the model editor. And once again, we want to make sure that the model kind is set to general and the subkind is general editor. Now we're going to modify the template in order to provide a series component. We first replace the first parameter, the pin designation, percent one, with RS at designator. RS at designator will create a unique designator for our netlisted device with the prefix RS as well as a unique node. By adding the resistor, the voltage source takes on the form as seen here. Now in the window, we're going to change tabs from model kind to parameters. A new parameter we're going to call R series and give it a value of 50. We're also going to provide a value for the AC magnitude, set that to 1, and an AC phase of 0. Now if we click on Netlist Preview, we can see the modified two lines that we created with the values that we've added, and we are all set to go. It's necessary to have values for the AC magnitude and AC phase in order to have the series resistance be included. This is because of the logic of the template, which we looked at a few lessons ago. Click OK to dismiss both dialogues, and then save your schematic.